Hello, everyone. In this lecture, we're covering high-impact grant writing, and this is a very important component of writing proposals, and not only proposals, but also annual reports and other reports. High-impact shows convincibility. It demonstrates strength for your organization, and it's something that will help to prove that your organization is able to carry out the activities that you are applying for funding for. So it's something that most organizations and individuals already do very well. However, there tends to be a lack, a lack of ability to write convincing high impact statement. So in this lecture, we're going to look at the three primary components of high impact grant writing. There's also an activity, a worksheet that is associated with this component as well. So the three primary components of high impact grant writing are influence, outcome, and outreach. And we'll look at each one of those individually. Influence can be defined as when your grant funded program has had a strong effect on something or somebody, then it has impact, showing the dramatic changes in people's lives as a result of your program proves that you have been successful. Now, when we look at internal change, like improvement in self-esteem, is a little harder to measure than outward behavior like getting a job. But there are many psychological instruments and tests that can be used as pre- and post-tests to show inner growth. Very important statement is that one powerful way to capture influence is through testimonials because they provide the social proof that you can leverage in your proposals, your newsletters, your quarterly reports, and your annual reports. So for an example, if you are running a program that deals with families and communities and you have a testimony from a parent or a community member, you can use those quotes in your proposal or in your report to show how your program has influenced someone. Those testimonials are very important. That's the first primary component of high impact grant writing. So you want to be able to show in your and throughout your proposal, definitely in your organizational summary, if that is a part of the application, you want to be able to show influence. The second component of high impact grant writing is outcome. Normally in grant proposals, you are asked to, to specify goals and objectives that you want to accomplish. And doing this justifies funding in the eyes of the funder. One way of demonstrating high impact is by having clear, concise objectives, which are also called results or outcomes. So you want to be able to measure outcomes in high impact grant writing. You want to be able to, number one, Find data that's, that's already been reported. For example, the number of high school graduates from your school. And then if you're looking for funding to try to increase the number of high school graduates from your school, then you ask for funding to increase the number of high school graduates. From 75%, you want to try to increase that to 95%. So 
so in your your grant writing, excuse me, in your proposal, you're asking for funding to do just that. So then after your after that year is up or the two year funding program cycle is up, you want to measure your results after the program by comparing the number before the seventy five percent and the num and the percentage afterwards, the ninety five percent, to show the impact your program had. And then of course you report your results. And that's your outcome. So we we have found that a number of organizations are already doing very good work in those areas. And they do have the outcome to to report. It's just that they tend not to know how to report it. And then finally, outreach. Outreach literally means reaching out to more people, increasing the number of people who are already aware of your program. Increase the number of people you serve in a particular area. Funders look favorably on ideas that will focus on a large number of people that affect a large number of people. Even if the number of people you serve is small, you can take advantage of the power of outreach, document what works, and then disseminate the results to other programs in other parts of the country that can benefit. With respect to outreach, you want to ask four questions. Actually, three. Well, it's really four or five. What kind of influence or inner impact would your program have? This, remember, has to do with outreach. How do you measure that? What statistics would you like to increase or de decrease with your grant? How many people you, will you be able to serve with your program? If the number you serve is small, how can you justify asking? for the funding. How might you be able to reach even more people or have a greater impact? So with outreach, that has to do with trying to reach out to more people. What ideas can you come up with to try to reach out to more people? Will you ask for funding for a social media person to set up Facebook or Twitter and so forth? Will you collaborate with another agency in another part of the state or the country or uh, are you looking globally? So you want to be able to increase the number of people who are aware of your program. So those are three primary components of high impact grant writing, influence, outcome, and outreach. Please do not forget to download the PDF file, which is an activity for you to write high impact statement. And feel free to reach out if you have any questions or comments with respect to high impact grant writing. Thanks again, and I will see you in the next lecture.